gentlemen, Jason Andrews, AKA the All-American Driver, and today we are installing a modification that might just end this car's life as a daily driver. All right, so we're back at the shop. Check this out. I got two different sets of motor mounts right here. You can see here, these ones are for street. This one for race. Which one you guys think we're doing? Of course we're doing the race ones, right? We're not little b S2000, AP1, reinforced differential mount, four pieces. Made in the USA. I mean, these things are serious. I've never done motor mounts before. But Jay, you have, right? Yes. What about different uh, differential mounts? I haven't done any differential mounts. That's going to be a no experience tonight. I, I'm not expecting it to be super complicated. Do you think we're just going to ruin the ability to drive this car on the street? Um, I think it's going to take some of your street drivability away, yes. <laughs> ah, that's actually, <laughs> that's what I think too. But again, I just have to remember why I bought this car. I'll tell you right now. I have fallen in love with the S2000. There, that is for sure, right? I love driving it with the top down. It's just so good at everything. Gets good gas mileage. It's super fun to drive. It actually kind of makes me a little hoon again, like I, I'm driving it pretty hard on the street. But that's not why I bought it. I bought it for to be a track car, and that's why we're putting on these mounts. So we have a street version and the race version. We're just trying to figure out kind of if we can see a difference. See how soft that appears to be? So this is the bushing for the mount. And this one is much harder. Race ones it is. Race it is. Once we get the OEM motor mounts out, I'll, I'll do a side by side and show you guys. They are a completely different design, how they're gonna uh, basically be installed and how they work, it looks like. The factory ones look like little airbags because I think that they're fluid filled, um, which probably gives a lot of play, but these new ones, there's not gonna be any play. Okay, so they're definitely correct. If these are the factory ones, we're talking 140,000 miles on them. Oh. Fluid. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you would be correct. Just a public service announcement. Passenger side motor mount, pretty easy to get out. Driver side motor mount, <laughs> kind of a <laughs> Right, Jay? We'll bleep that later. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> We're getting there though. Okay, so we have the front motor mounts, the race ones on. They are a little bit different design. We've actually freed up a little bit of room, uh, you know, kind of under the engine bay or whatever, which is, is nice. Maybe I guess it, it'll help working on things in the future. Now we are going to the rear to do the diff mounts. There are four of them. One here, one here, and then these right here, one here, and then the same on the other side. So Jay, you've never done this before, right? Never done this before. How does it look? It looks relatively straightforward. I don't think we need to do any special jacking or anything. We're just gonna run out some nuts, pull some bolts down, swap the parts. Should be pretty easy. Awesome. It smells like beef. I think I tasted some. I got some in my mouth. Gross. That's true. True story. Right. So um, the diff mounts, they are filled. They're fluid filled. Yeah. Apparently. With probably that same stuff that's in there. That sinks and tastes horrible. 
Torque wrench set. New, Three. old. All right, so we got the motor mounts on, we got the differential mounts on, we're just torquing them down, and then we're basically ready to get this thing on the ground and see how it drives. Is it gonna be a massive difference? I don't know, probably. Um, I hear a lot of horror stories about upgraded motor mounts, so we'll see, but I do hear really good things about the diff mount, so maybe that's, I think everything is gonna kinda work together and uh, it's gonna give a much more responsive drivetrain feel, which is what we want on track. I'll be honest, we just started it up. I kind of thought it was just gonna like be shaking itself uh, like loose, but uh, just at idle initially, I don't actually notice any difference. No joke, we just took it for a rip. <laughs> Jason and I both drove it and uh, look, I don't know why everybody is complaining so much about like motor mounts ruining a car's uh, like drivability basically. There, there definitely is a little bit more vibration at low speeds, like just getting on throttle or like slowly edging the car around. You definitely feel like a little, you know, but it's not, I'm not like rattling my teeth out or something like that. It's, it's actually really good. And then the driving experience, I'll tell you right now, I've been hooning around in this car since I bought it almost a year ago. By doing the, the differential mounts, this was the first time I started to like, I w it was so stiff I was chirping the tires when I was shifting. That's never happened before and I'm driving this car like as hard as I possibly can all the time. And I'm on the AO 52s, which is a crazy sticky tire. Um, so everything is feeling nice and tight actually really good jay jay you drove it man what did you think i'm impressed uh i really like the uh the mod for tonight it turned out really well um definite change in the driving experience um improvement for our purpose for the vehicle great great improvement good job little honda so we're gonna be on track actually jay should be coming with me we're gonna be on track December 11th, uh, a little bit north of here. Is that in Georgia or is that in Florida? That, no, it's, it's still in Florida. It's in Florida. Yeah. It's a little bit north here um, and, and we'll just see. We're gonna, we're gonna go out with the car. We're gonna really try to be like methodical a little bit about the track and kind of where we can improve because you only get a few runs, you know? So it, it really is about like making decisions on the spot. I think it'll be fun to have a co-pilot for sure to be able to like talk through, hey, at turn three, I think you were breaking too early or man, you can push that a little bit harder or, or you know, whatever. It'll just be more fun with friends. I'm super pumped. This car is so much, so much fun. I'm kind of glad I can still drive it on the street a little bit um, right now with the mounts. That's not gonna last forever, all right? I mean, we are gonna pull stuff out of the car, probably needs to get caged. Um, if we wide body it, maybe we go to even a more aggressive tire. Anyways, that's all coming. So anyway, super pumped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jason Andrews, the All-American Driver. I'll see you guys in the next episode.